counting down the days until NASA embarks on its most meaningful mission in decades. Artemis 1, the unmanned test flight, which is scheduled for liftoff Monday, sets the stage for future manned flights to the moon and beyond. Joining me now, systems engineer with Boeing Space and Launch Division, Christine Ramos. Christine. You have got to be Hi. excited. <laughs> Good to see you. Oh my gosh, this is, it's crazy. This is what Welcome your life to is all Space about. Center. Yes, in an yes, amazing I've been place on this for it is. Quite a long time. Well, talk oh, yes. to us about it. Uh, you I can mean, feel Boeing the energy built, about it. Uh, yeah, and building the core stage of the Space Launch System, uh, also known as the SLS, the big orange piece that uh, you you yes, we know you about, see. we see. Let's talk about what went into that development, um, and how does Gosh. it compare to the one that we saw used uh, on the space shuttle in the past? Oh, it is it is completely different. I mean, this vehicle is a man-rated, evolvable rocket. We can carry twice as much payload than any other rocket, and it's really going to help us set a sustainable future um, in space, in deep space. Um, it took, gosh, I've been on this program for about 10 years, from paper to manufacturing to test out in Stennis. Um, it takes a lot of diverse people to design and build this rocket. So. 10 years, I look at you and I say, oh my gosh, were you like 12 when you started? <laughs> You're one of those young geniuses, clearly. What got you, oh, what got you into this, fired up about this? What, where did your interest start? Oh, it actually started in shuttle. I actually st started in the shuttle program. I worked on the solid rocket boosters. And following that, I did Constellation um, when we really needed a transition from shuttle. And then it just evolved to Space Launch System. Yeah, and I think what really got me into this is, you know, we just need to get back out there, back into deep space. We need to start going further and beyond, beyond Mars, interstellar space. So it just got me more and more inspired to be in this program. Well, you inspire all of us. So putting men and women on Thank the moon you. long term, right, is just one small yes. step, as we like to say, as NASA sets the stage for the manned missions, you know, further into our solar system with destinations like Mars, right? So what will NASA right. scientists learn from this voyage, you think, that they will be able to use, that you will be able to use in future missions? Well, for future missions, this test launch is really going to help us with our flight performance, um, just how we integrate with Orion, because, you know, we need a lot to know a lot just about the Orion module, especially when it comes to re-entry, because that's very critical for our crew. But it's going to help us just really redesign or modify or tweak a little bit for our future missions when you do Artemis II, Artemis III, when we're boots on the moon, and then further missions to Mars, Jupiter, Enceladus, Pluto. So this is a very, very important launch. And it's not just historic, but, you know, it's because uh, it's the main well, it mission. Is, yeah. It's yeah, it's Artemis will eventually have on board is what we're talking about. Let's talk about what is makes this mission just so unique and so special. So this is so unique and so special because um, this is just a new rocket, a very powerful rocket. And we really need to verify and certify this rocket so we can just start putting just substance out in space, just more people, more cargo, a foundation out in space. And we have already a vision of what we want on the moon. This is really going to kick it off and things are just going to keep coming right after it. Well, let's, I must mention it's women's, women's Equality Day. So what a perfect day to talk about this with you yes. and your unique position. We appreciate you, Christine, lift <laughs> you up. Thank you for being a role thank model you. for our daughters. No, thank you. And thank you guys for all the support. We really, really need this. You know, I'm so excited to just show this off. I'm proud of my coworkers who are gonna show this off. We're all very proud of our work and I hope it inspires more. Yeah, it will, it takes a team. Thanks, Christine. Be sure to tune in Monday, 8 a.m. Eastern, for our full coverage of the Artemis One liftoff to the moon space launch right here. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.